Right. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, I said in the last session I was going to start looking at uh, um, yeah, messing around with firewalls and things. However, <clears throat> on reflection, I think I'm going to take a look first of all at uh, at this test infra. Now, test infra uh, is a uh, it's a it's a Python based testing framework uh, based on PyTest, uh, but specifically uh, aimed at testing uh, infrastructure. So we're going to be testing the servers. Uh, now, why <coughs> why test infra? Well, we could use uh, one of the uh, other popular frameworks uh, such as uh, Test Kitchen. Um, we, that's Ruby based. Uh, now, I'm not a great uh, Ruby programmer, uh, as you've seen from my playing around with the Vagrant files. Uh, then again, I'm also not a terrific uh, Python programmer. Uh, I would argue I'm slightly better at Python. Uh, and and I'm doing a lot of other things with Python. Uh, so uh, I think Python's the way to go, uh, particularly since Salt is based on Python. We might uh, and we've got Python already installed, so it makes sense to go for a Python testing infrastructure. That said, um, Salt also has a testing infrastructure built into it. So uh, now then, uh, uh, which uh, it's not entirely clear. Um, yeah, let's close it. Think that this one. Uh, right. So uh, yeah, sort stack test. Uh, here we go. State testing. Uh, this is no. That's what we were talking about last time. Uh, Salt's so test suite. Uh, that's for uh, uh, that's for if you're developing salt. Um, let's do salt testing. Uh, uh, no, state testing. We've got the state test. Uh, my test case states that enable easy testing of things to do with state calls. Uh, that's kind of what we're looking for, but it's not exactly. Uh, having said that, this, this could be useful for some things. Uh, check the query is not just type of a given keys in pillars, for example. Uh, but uh, it's not really. Uh, what I was after. Uh, provide, what's this? provide test case states that enable easy testing of things to do with state calls. Yeah, that, that wasn't what I had in mind. Um, let's see. I mean, that's, that's useful, we should bear that in mind. Um, what I was thinking of was uh, uh, infrastructure automation. Oh, it's slightly irritating. Uh, there is a, an ability within Salt Stack. Uh, to uh, actually perform testing. Um, Uh, 
Yeah, I think this test suite is actually for um, uh, this is this is for running uh, and testing salt itself. Oh, that's annoying. The point I was going to make uh, was that uh, the reason we're not using salt testing, apart from the fact I can't find the bloody uh, documentation at the moment, um, uh, was because um, salt testing facility is based on running salt's own execution modules um, and since we're using salt to configure our servers in the first place uh, it's a bit like you know having the wolf protecting the sheep whereas uh, having pi test as a completely separate framework means that uh, two things first of all uh, decoupling the thing that's actually doing the configuration from the thing that's testing the configuration is probably a good idea. Uh, the other th the other reason for doing it is um, if in the future uh, we decide to uh, replace salt, uh, we don't have to replace our testing infrastructure um, because it's already uh, independent. Um, of course, if we if we replace the testing, then we don't also have to rely on salt. So it it, it does two things. Uh, it it keeps a clear division. Uh, I'm hungry. Really quite... Um, it it keeps a, a clear division. Uh, There we go. Um, between sort of testing and the uh, monitoring and um, configuration side of things. Uh, yeah, this is going to use test info, so it's, it's kind of a bit pointless. Um, uh, no. No, that's slightly irritating that it's not being a, uh, more forthcoming. Um, which is slightly absurd. Salt check, here we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Salt check. Um, so it's it's a relatively new component from the looks of it. Uh, here you go, new in version 3000, which is um, uh, the point is that this allows you to run uh, tests using salt. Uh, uh, here you go.
so it's useful to know that that's there um, but as I say we're not going to be using that we're going to be using this test infra uh, so the first step is to write the salt states necessary to get this installed um, and it's only really necessary uh, to run this on uh, the master because uh, we can then run all of the minions uh, from there now one of the nice things we can do you see these connections we can actually use salt as the connection engine uh, which means we can target the minions directly using the salt protocol uh, and then use the test infra to actually do the tests so uh, that's kind of nice because it saves us any aggravation about extracting other information uh, like for example we could extract all of the ssh connections and use ssh to do it as long as we had ssh running the system but we don't want to open up any more doorways than we have to we've already got a perfectly good secure communication with each of the minions using um, the salt uh, 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 using the uh, master minion connections uh, f f available from salt uh, so we can uh, you know we, we don't have to provide an entire ssh infrastructure uh, within our system which as we've discussed before is uh, is a good thing because we want to minimize the attack profile on our servers and having ssh available on every server is an obvious attack profile now having said that we may very well one day um, want to uh, enable SSH uh, on certain servers in which case uh, we can do it one of several ways um, we can access them uh, again uh, through um, salt and provide access that way uh, or we can implement a one-time password type infrastructure uh, which would allow us to essentially grant users and we'll, we'll do this again uh, we can do this using vault uh, but what we can do is we can grant specific users access to specific servers uh, via SSH with a one-time uh, key uh, but anyway uh, we're getting way, way, way ahead of ourselves for now uh, let's take a look at um, uh, in, in implementing uh, uh, implementing um, infrastructure testing so uh, the very first thing we need to do you can see we've got a bit of extra work to do here okay um, Uh, what we want to do first of all then is uh, uh, is uh, we want to use pip to install test infra and test infra salt uh, which is the back end we just saw up there okay so uh, We've got a salt module pip, which means uh, that's an execution module, and now we've got salt state. Uh, so we've got the, the pip state. Mm. Uh, okay. So we can make sure that Python pip is installed. Okay, and then we've got things like uh, let's see, blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, so pip dot installed uh, and pip state installed uh, oh, interesting 
So although although the state's called pip state, it's invoked using pip. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. And you can see what they've done here. Okay, we're checking whether the Django package is installed. And in this case, they've also given it a specific range. But they're checking that Django is installed. And they've also got this require on Python pip, which installs that the package is installed, uh, which is a good idea. Um, now, uh, this uh, is going to be a good uh, lesson, actually, in how to manage these things. Uh, because what we can't do is we can't put this uh, stanza uh, into um, uh, an arbitrary state file or an arbitrary number of state files. Okay, and then expect all of this stuff to work. Uh, mm. uh, the reason being that the, the problem would be if we had say three different states uh, with this form, then this thing would be in three different states and if you try to run those three states and apply them to a single machine uh, you'd have a problem that the stanza is always named python pip and if you remember from way back each stanza has to be uniquely named uh, but we can get around that Now we have to be a little bit careful. Uh, yeah, we, we have to be a little bit careful because of the way um, Python works. Now in our global environment, uh, we can show that over here. Um, so this is on uh, so this is on the um, server one okay so we got uh, right so you can see 2.7 is the default python uh, and we can invoke python three uh, like that okay so we've got 3.7.3 .3 as python 3 now <clears throat> we can use something like pyenv to actually create and manage the uh, virtual environments and that uh, allows us to then switch um, the difficulty is knowing which environment which virtual environment you're actually working in 
when uh, uh, when you're executing something from within um, salt. Uh, and we've got two different issues. Uh, we've got the point at which the infra test is run. Okay, that is to say uh, the master end, and then you've got what is actually happening on the uh, target system, uh, which has to be taken care of by the uh, infra test. So it has to basically send the entire environment across to the minion to be executed. And that will work very similar to the way salt works, because salt does a similar kind of thing. It sort of packages everything that's needed uh, in terms of Python uh, and sends that across to be executed in its own sort of mini context. <clears throat> so I would assume that Infotest works some, somewhat similarly. Uh, but we, we just have to be careful when we're using uh, these various things. Uh, not to make any assumptions about the way it works because uh, Uh, we can do thing. We can use things like this uh, to force a particular virtual environment. Uh, which would be okay. Uh, Uh, so let's take a look at uh, testing for uh, and so you can see here uh, uh, there's nothing here uh, suggesting that we're using anything uh, see this is using pip um, which implies it's 2.7 uh, uh, even down to here where we're running it as 2.7 uh, now is it compatible? it should be Python 3 by now mm -hmm. um, here we go so in version 4 we dropped Python 2 support uh, mm. okay so which could mean that this example is just out of date which yeah that's not entirely unreasonable uh, What does that mean? So we have to use pip3 and run it with python3 well, I assume that pytest will automatically run it with python with, with python3 Okay, well let's do, let's do uh, so we're actually on the machine now right, let's let's just do this pip install uh, test infra and see what happens ah right okay so we don't have pip installed at all uh, which means that we have to install it with the package manager and that would mean python pip but of course we're going to do python 3 pip because we, we don't want Python, we don't want to install Python 2 unless we absolutely have to. Uh, the other thing we could do is install PyEnv uh, and then set the global context. But um, let's keep it simple. Right, let's do a quick test. Uh, remember, 
uh, we're in uh, we're in serve salt okay so let's uh, let's get rid of all of that okay and start with a scratch empty system uh, so let's do uh, let's do vi top dot sls and remember it's first environment then uh, the matching uh, minions well in this case we want it to be serve 001 will be very specific okay so just on the master uh, and we are going to um, install on here uh, uh, the uh, test infra okay now remember test infra is the name of the salt state file so let's okay so in here now remember i said we, we weren't going to do this but we're going to do it this way for now okay so we'll do um python 3 pip uh, and package dot installed uh, and that's pretty much all we need in there okay because we're just following this okay but we're using python 3 instead of uh, python okay and then uh, uh, so then we're going to um, make virtual end wrapper. Uh, do we? Is that a prerequisite? Uh, the other question is: Does that pip work? Or do I have to put pip three? Interesting question. Not entirely clear. Uh, uh, what I, what I mean is, do I do I have to do, for example, you know, testing for a um, pip installed? Uh, and then require uh, and package uh, uh, Python three pip. Okay, uh, this this here, this pip installed. Uh, check for inf uh, test infra. Does that need to be pip, or does it need to be pip three? Because I'm I'm doing it with three. Uh, let's just try um, Uh, right. Uh, now this is what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, running it with test uh, because this doesn't know uh, what, anything about what this thing actually does, uh, and indeed doesn't care because we're just running it in test mode, which just basically runs through them and tells you what order they're going to be in. Uh, it couldn't find the pit binary. Now if I do mock. Uh, Okay, which pretends to have run them. Uh, 
Okay, uh, you can see here yeah, it 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 just doesn't call them at all. It just sort of really goes, oh well, you know, you know just pretend everything's copacetic. Yeah? Uh, right now then, uh, let's just apply that state and see what happens. Eons past, continents collided. Now, this is one of the disconcerting things about salt because the 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 feedback is not in uh, real time. What happens is it sends the stuff off to the minion. The minion gathers all of this output. Okay. Uh, and uh, now then, here we go. So, uh, yeah, it, it gathers all the output, um, and then it's all sent back as one thing. So, when you're doing a lot of installations uh, and, and you know, manipulation of your servers, it can actually take a long time before the minions start to send anything at all back, uh, which can be a bit disconcerting at first. Right now then, let's have a look at what we've done. Uh, you can see here, uh, the first thing it's done is it's updated Python. Uh, so there's obviously been a minor update since we last went in there. Uh, so Python's been updated. Uh, uh, and we've installed a whole load of other stuff because we were installing pip, okay, which, which is fine. Okay. All right, so if we do pip, ah, now pip's not found. So evidently the pip module uh, is picking up pip3, not pip, in, in this context, I assume. Uh, let's try salt run. Uh, uh, is there a way for me to check? Uh, there we go. Installation of Python packages using pip. Uh, It's hardly profound, is it? Um, and we can check the up to uh, verify the system is completely up to date. Uh, uh, okay. It's a little bit disconcerting, isn't it? Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that, that really helps. the execution module. So we can do uh, 
That doesn't exist code. Failed. Command not found. Hmm. Yeah. Right, so uh, that explains that. So the pit module uh, evidently is uh, using pip3 because it has to. Interesting. So what happens if pip and pip3 are installed? Oh, so many questions. However, not ones that I'm going to concern myself with at the moment, but that is something to watch out for. Anyway, that gets us testing for installed. So testing for is installed and our high state uh, for uh, the server um, uh, that should make no changes because the top file just says apply test infra uh, so that's cool okay so that's good So, uh, so now we can use uh, um, uh, well now we've got that installed we should be able to do oops. Boom. Okay. So we've now got uh, test info installed with PyTest. Okay, which means that on this machine now we can start creating um, our tests. Now I'm going to organize them. Uh, oops. Uh, I'm going to organize them in this uh, SLV okay so we've got our pillar in there we've got our salt in there uh, we're also we're going to do things like formulas and reactors and various other things uh, so what we'll do is we'll make a test directory uh, okay and then within that because we might want to have salt tests at some point or indeed other forms of test okay but what we'll do is we'll put test infra tests in there uh, don't really need that because we're only going to create this one at the moment. Okay. Um, so in here, we will create all of our uh, test info tests. Okay. Um, and we're going to be using. Uh, PyTest hosts salt. Now the back end, I don't think the back end has been installed yet. Uh, uh, so if we do something like this. Uh, uh, now then. 
Interesting. Don't test around. Right. Well, that's true. Uh, is that because? Hmm. Is that because it's installed the salt backend and it's just not using it, or? Interesting. Well, I'll tell you what, let's write a simple test. Uh, let's write a test that um, hmm. uh, Okay, now how do I organize my tests? Uh, invocation modules examples okay so uh, yes 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 but do I organize my tests uh, integrating it with vagrant well we're not going to use that in the first instance might use it later uh, Hmm. Okay, so PyTest, uh, do we need to tell it? Uh, Because when I tell it which host to run, do I also have to tell it uh, test cursively all test files starting with test in the current directory? Right, so it looks to me like we can use keywords. Uh, so by default testing will launch tests on local machines but you can test remote systems using yeah yeah we're going to use salt you can also set hosts per test module uh -huh. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, does that mean that i Uh, yes, but oh, this is annoying. That means that the test host has to be defined. Uh, no, nope. I'm not getting this. Uh, I understand that. that that targets this test to these hosts. No problem there. Does this mean that when this test is loaded, that only these hosts will respond? Or does it mean it's going to uh, okay so if I go to the PyTest documentation uh, and I mean all, all this is this just assumes it's on the local machine yeah I'll look at PyTest in more detail when I look at writing Python, but um, so I'm, I'm a bit confused about when this is actually applied. Is it a filter or is it an instruction? In other words, if I target this at all my salt minions, but I specify it within a test module, I specify this. 
does it mean that it will only be applied to posts that match this and if so can i put something like salt expression in there uh, which is less useful Yeah, I'm not sure I'd want to do that. I think what I want to do uh, is, sure, we can specify multiple hosts and then we have a suite of tests within test infra, which has got nothing to do with the, ho the machines. So for example, we could have common. So uh, we could have yeah we could have common uh, and then we could subdivide it into well into linux for example uh, if we want into linux only uh, so we could do common tests which tests for example common firewall rules that we expect to be true on every server uh, uh, or indeed any other tests which we expect to be true on every single server for example, having a salt million installed, uh, every server that we hit with those te with that test suite, we expect uh, to have a salt million installed. Well, it will have to have because we're using salt, so a bit of pointless test, but you get the idea. Um, hmm. Oh, there are, there are some tests that salt would be better for. For example, testing that all machines have at least two CPUs, because we could test whether the grains says it's got more than two CPUs. <sighs> right, come on, Mark. Uh, focus. So let's let's write our first test. Uh, the test might be. Uh, let me see. Um, okay. Well, the first thing we're going to do is test the firewall. So. We're going to use the net filters firewalls. Okay, now uh, uh, okay, let's go to um, documentation. Let's go to salt modules. Um, that filter, yeah. Uh, now we know we've got IP tables. Okay, so IP tables is the old way of doing it. Uh, but NFT is the new way. So uh, here we go. NF tables. There we go. Okay, so NF tables is the new, uh, the, the, the newer way of specifying these rules. Um, now then, uh, build a well-formatted NF table rule based on blah blah blah. A table and chain are not required unless full is true. If full is true, then table and chain commands are required. The command may be specified as either. This happened and delete this will return the NF table command exactly as it will be used in the command line. Uh, uh, So this uh, this builds the rule, but it doesn't seem to apply it. Uh, and this one seems to check for the existence of a rule in the table and the chain. Okay, starting right. Uh, 
But the first thing we want to do is make sure that NF tables is installed at all because sometimes it's not. Does this require NF tables? That is to say NFT, because if we go to over here, okay, and we do, uh, is it actually, yeah, so the NFT commands, I mean, net, net filters are installed because their IP tables is basically net filter tables nowadays. Uh, the question is, does this act, does this use NFT or does it use, uh, we may not even need to install NFT actually. Interesting. But just by way of a test, yeah, this is this is cool actually. This might actually solve some of our problems. Uh, as soon as I run IP tables on here it's going to create the standard IP tables um, but if I if I look at uh, NFT we'll see that there are no tables and no chains in existence uh, now I'm uh, I learned all my uh, stuff using IP tables so NFT is a bit new to me Uh, so if I do Linux NFT, uh, uh, um, so you can do list rule set. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to be very naughty and do uh, apt get install NFT and uh, NF tables perhaps. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to do NFT list rule set. Yeah. So it's empty, so that there are no chains and there are no tables, right? Now, as soon as I do this, okay, so you can see now we've got uh, the input chain, the forward chain, the output chain, right, uh, which are the standard um, IP tables. If I now do NFT list rule set, bingo, right? So it's created the filter table and it's created these chains. Yeah, so and that's the reason why I didn't want to touch anything with the IP tabs. I mean, we're going to reproduce these effectively. Yeah, but um, NF tables on its own, so the net filter system on its own do, does not have these. IP tables constructs these. Yeah, now it used to be that you would get these tables regardless. You know, you'd get the t you'd get the filter table, uh, you'd get the input and forward tables and the output uh, chains and the output chain. Uh, there was pre-routing, post-routing, uh, all sorts of things. Yeah, uh, which we can see if we do. Um, hmm. uh, what is it? Is it, is it capital? Uh, is it lowercase a? No. Um, oh, come on, Mark. Uh, it's not A because that's a pen. But uh, fuck it, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so there are a whole load of tables that were created as part of the IP table system that are no longer created as part of the net filters. Uh, uh, which is what we want. So we want a nice clean implementation. Right. Uh, but what it does mean is that we have to be a bit more organized about the way we do things within um, uh, within salt when we're setting up our uh, 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 anyway that's okay so let's uh, create uh, a common test suite so 
let's make directory common and we're going to assume at the moment that we're always working with Linux so uh, let's say test firewall and in here uh, what we're going to do uh, is uh, do we need to do anything special? Um, so what we need to do is uh, you can see here it's got IP tables to do the tests that's an interesting point actually so we've got an IP tables test Uh, which is probably okay um, but I would guess that the implementation uses IP tables uh, there you go this could be an issue Because in order to test this, uh, what I really want is an NF tables. I wonder if somebody's written one. Uh, let's do test and for NF tables. Uh, there we go. Uh, that's oh wow testing salt formulas was testing for an interesting idea You're gonna, you're gonna make me angry if you turn on my keyboard. Oi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Got the fidgets. Uh, right. Uh, where was I? Uh, um. Save that for now. Mm. Uh, that looks like it might be interesting. Uh, however, it doesn't look like there's a test infra plugin uh, for NF tables, so that may be project uh, a project for later uh, so we've got the host fixture mm, yeah well these yeah these are standard I test fixture so these are attached to the host fixture hmm. uh, so it allows us to run an arbitrary command so we can I mean we can we can do the NF table stuff that way uh, 
Bonjour, I hope I'm something a bit more subtle. Um, So, uh, testing pre unit you need to just them to test actual state of service. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, So what we're going to do really is write an IP tables replacement for NF tables. Uh, so you can see all this really does. Is run the IP tables command basically and then checks the output. Interesting. Um, so IP tables command. Uh, so I have to put the, the size of this four or six, uh, and then. Okay. Well, it's fairly simplistic in there. It runs it runs the IP tables command. Mm. It's fairly simplistic in the way it runs. Uh, and it doesn't really do very much. Uh, you're kind of expected to, to check uh, yourself. Now it does have the advantage that it's just uh, an array and you can therefore scan the array to find the corresponding rules. Uh, whereas NF tables uh, returns quite a different output. Uh, you know, the equivalent would be this, just in the rule set. Uh, And we can do an export uh, to JSON, which actually makes it then very easy for us to manipulate, isn't it? Uh, so we could uh, uh, so set tables. 
instead of uh, uh, list rule set, uh, we can just do export. Uh, it's interesting that they've got NFT export JSON and they've dropped rule set completely. Can you actually do that? Is, is that implicit? Yeah, I thought so. You have to kind of go the rule set, Jason. Uh, this output type is not supported. But, uh, The rule set keyboard is used. Oh, look at that! It's got to be. Wow! Really? <laughs> so, okay, so. List prints the rule set, flush clears the whole rule set, export print the rule set in machine readable format. And export is over here. Uh, what? So it's list rule set family expert rule set export. Just, but, uh, what? Does that mean you have to do list rule set export? What? This output type is not uh, did I oh I missed this trick here. Doesn't make any sense. Let's try it over and it may have changed. Uh, right, so. Okay, so it is on a new line uh, on the format. Export rule set in machine readable format. The mandatory format parameter may be either XML or JSON. So export JSON. Okay, so why didn't it work? This output type is not supported. Uh, so the list works okay. No, don't get it. Why? Uh, the only thing I can think of is because there are no rules in there at the moment. But, I mean, there are rules in there. Mm.
expecting rule set or XML or JSON or VM. Right, but if I put JSON in there, you tell me this output type is not supported. I'm, I'm going to assume it's because there are no rules. That's weird. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, okay. What's the VM there for? And I mean that makes no sense as Jason. Oh, hang on a minute. Um, Boy, that's utter nonsense. I mean, that just makes no sense at all. First of all, VM's not... No, don't get that at all. Oh, well, we'll worry about that later. Um, uh, right, so, uh, what was it? Vi test uh, file dot well, let's, let's say um, nah come on um, uh, right okay so we're going to test file we're going to we're going to check that the NFT package is installed just just as something to check so uh, install, uh, install def uh, test. I assume it has to follow the uh, it has to follow the standard sort of form. Uh, so we'll make it nice and descriptive. I assume I can also put it in classes. Uh, test file. Uh, def test. NFT present. Uh, right, so now I should be able to use that package. Okay, so this does a similar sort of thing to uh, salt insofar as it abstracts away any problems. Uh, so we do NFT uh, is installed. Uh, uh, now then. Is that uh, is that just a boolean or is it a function? Uh, uh, let's just try it as a function first. Uh, so um,
Okay. So let's see what we got. Uh, two failed, two warnings. Okay. So what happened? Uh, test NFT is present. Uh, okay. Attribute string object has no attribute decode. Mm, okay. Hmm. Okay, so ginger two, we've got a bit of an issue, but that's okay. So what's it having trouble with? It's having trouble with decoding a string Linux. Uh, and this is because of the salt back end. Uh, now is that because the salt back end is not properly in Installed. Uh, what was it? Uh, test info. Oh, actually, uh, ah. Should be looking at this. Uh, so we've got test in for It seems to have installed it. We've got the same problem. It looks to me 
like the sock back end has not been updated. Hmm, I was expecting that. Well, it's expanded the minion names correctly. But it's getting this attribute error. Uh, it would appear, but I mean, by then, surely it's running the package command. Okay, let's try this. Uh, Doesn't look like it. It's a problem. Getting some data back. And data is coming in as a string. It's got no decode. Mm -hmm. So it's coming back as a string, not as a string, I guess. Uh, Decode on string. Mm. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So this is a string object. 
uh, sorry, the string, you know, string, string on string class. Uh, Mm, that's strings capital S. That's true. But then This is referring to maybe maybe it's Ruby. Uh, so it is the class string. So why, oh why, oh why? Fucking problem. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Okay, so the test info that's been installed has got some throwback stuff to but packages like the most fundamental thing. So it must be that the error is in salt somewhere. Okay. So, uh, let's go and have a look. Uh, right, testing for it's a backend base. Uh, but of course, it's not really going to be in there, is it? Uh, it it's it's going to be in salt somewhere. So, uh, let's uh, uh, push it. Uh, right, so let's have a look in uh, salt pie. Um, well, there's no decode in there. Well, there's nothing in there that was suggest there was a problem line 200 there isn't a line 264 surely it's in base <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, so that ooh, that decode is a Python 2. Uh, so even though it was claiming 
uh, this Python 2 was no longer supported. That can't be true. Uh, right, so going back to uh, let's go to GitHub uh, and we want to find test infra. Uh, is that gonna f Uh, that's the fella. Update changed like a 5T2, but I mean, surely to God, mm, back end base. Mm. I think I've got a whole load of decode in here as well. Now it could be, because of course we're not checking types, but there could be something else in there. Mm -hmm. uh, that I'm not aware of. Python 3 decode. Let's just see what happens. String decode method, Python 3. I don't understand then. What? Um. Okay, now I'm really freaked out. Python 3, okay, so x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, x dot decode, uh, do I need both? No, there's errors, yeah. That's the default, like this. There's no attribute decode. And yet, there it is, all pink and hairy. Does it require it to be encoded first? Encode, yes. Oh, so it's only when it's encoded that it gets the decode, all right? So if it was never encoded, or so, I'm going to guess that the salt back end should be encoding the return data. Um, Uh, uh, 
Right, so it was the base, and it was 263, somewhere about there. Uh, right, so we've got a date to decode, which is only called when. Uh, when I show it in the it's a Unicode decode error. So what the hell's going on? Two six four attribute error. I'm still going to try. And then it's going after me there. Uh, so why isn't that exception being caught? And right, so it's in the decode method in base two six four. Okay, so the decode method is getting some data, it tries to do that. It catches a Unicode error, but doesn't catch the case where data doesn't have a decode in the first place. Which would happen if it wasn't being encoded. Cool. Uh, oh. Fuck off. Uh, so. Uh, looking back, what do we have? Base Pi 71 self backend decode. There's your problem. So the backend, right? So backend decode, which is inherited. So system info, presumably. Uh, is returning a string which isn't being encoded. Uh, hmm. So it seems like the system info module is returning Linux, but it's not an encoded string. And so when it hits this decode, uh, it vomits on the carpet. Because in Python 3, it appears that strings not get a decode method unless it's previously got an encode or it's a different object yeah, maybe it's a different object type maybe I'm just being an idiot right so if I do x equals um, qwerty right when I look at the type of x Okay, it's class stra. When I say x equals x dot encode, mm. and then do type x. Uh, there you go. There's your problem. Makes a completely different type out for encoding. Okay. Okay, so now it's a byte string.
Which I think we can create natively, can't we, by doing y equals What am I doing? Yeah, okay, so mm. So what's the graceful way of dealing with this? Now then, first of all, is there a an outstanding issue about this? Uh, um, I think this has got to be one of the most popular things to do, so how on earth? Oh, right. Okay. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Somebody's already dealt with it. Uh, hmm, okay, they've done, it, they've done it the other way around. So rather than catching it and encoding it, they're catching it and they're catching it. In the generic way, uh, but uh, why? What was the rush now? Don't understand. Uh, I mean, I mean that's a sort of general catch-all. Uh, uh, okay, so basically, he's saying uh, no. What you've done. Uh, is 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 wrong basically. So, uh, okay, how long ago is fifth of May last year? Uh, I mean, this is the source of the trouble, uh, and it's this out return code. Here we go. Out standard out and out standard error. All right, so uh, I self run salt. Okay, and the output is the self client command. Uh, uh, self open, blah, 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 blah. All right. And so instead of returning the raw. Uh, 
Uh, right. Uh, so that's kind of good and not kind of good. Mm. According to this, uh, NF tables is also present on over here. Uh, which it isn't. But the package might be. And so it is. But well, the command isn't. Uh, it's the NFT command, isn't it? Uh, idiot. Uh, uh, well, the command is not that interesting. But NF tables is installed. Oh, the package that is. But the command isn't. Mm. Interesting. I installed the air tables and it was available. Is that just because it hasn't put it in the path yet? Seems a bit old. Hmm. Okay. Uh, not sure why installing the NF tables package installs the NF tables command yet. Uh, when I do. Uh, let me see, oh no, to oh, blah, 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 blah. oh. <laughs> it's not installed. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, no. okay, being a dumbass. Yeah, so we've listed the packages. We've yeah, so we haven't installed NF tables. So why why does that test why does that test present equals true? Mm -hmm. uh, oh blimey. No, I want the test over there. Mm. Uh, in fact, that should be false in both cases because there is no such. Uh, 
Um, okay. I should really be either asserting Uh, yeah, really, I should be uh, doing a search, shouldn't I? Do I have to do a so equals true? Okay, no, that's it, yeah. Okay, so that's to be expected now, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. But if I correct that to be that, I should get one true, one false. Oh, finally. Okay. So I should be able to... Test file will boom, 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 bang. Okay. If I do pytest, da da da, if I do minus q, that one, still getting all this junk out at the end. Uh, can I suppress those warnings? Can't remember. Right, anyway, uh, the long and the short of it is we now have a working test. Right. Well, that took a bit longer than I expected. But the answer is the test file will, uh, the start of the test file is to test that we've got the relevant command in there. Um, which is, of course, bollocks, because we don't really need NF tables uh, uh, to have a file. Because it would appear, and we will know this in a moment, NF tables, uh, salt NF tables, doesn't actually require the NF tables to be in there. Uh, um, Okay, uh, anyway, the long and short of it is right, so uh, there is an error in the salt, so what we need to do is to be good citizens, uh, we need to offer up a pull request and we can do it in response to this. Uh, um, So the fix was fairly standard. Uh, uh,
okay uh, I really want to be a good citizen here and fix this properly so next session we will uh, we will fix that uh, mm. Now I'm looking at this and uh, okay, so we send the command to the client and we get output back uh, and uh, so the salt client uh, so we want to import the salt client and then we say okay we'll get a local client which is cool uh, and so this is saying uh, it's not self underscore client Uh, is indirectly where did they done it that way oh unless that goes to the base because uh, uh, yeah that doesn't make any sense it must be doing a function call uh, By the way, it's uh, salt local client uh, is being sent the command with uh, the target minion. Uh, okay. I must be doing that minion by minion. So how does it get? Mm. Yeah, so it does the get hosts. Why does it do it that way? Why does it do a different client? Oh. Mm. Hosts. Client command. Mm. Okay, so it's all star. Mm. So it's star. Uh, test equals true. So yeah, so it's just running. Uh, and effectively a non-existent well it's running the, uh, the test module that returns true all the time so all we want is to, to come back so we can get the keys which is the name of the hosts right uh, and so
and we return the sorted list of posts. Cool. And then, seemingly the base then iterates over that list and calls run. So okay, so that's the class method. Oh, that is registered as a property, which is why you can call it self client and not self underscore client. Mm, okay. Uh, so we're running, which then calls salt, which runs the command run all, and whatever the command is, and then uh, it returns the self result with output return code, the command, the output standard out, and the output standard error. Now, the output standard out, and the output standard error. What it needs to return is it needs to return the real standard out and standard error. Sorry, the keyword standard out instead of error. If output standard out or output standard error are not byte strings. Uh, and they never will be. They'll always be raw strings. Uh, the alternative, of course, is to actually encode them. Uh, as part of this run salt. Uh, Uh, and this is because out will be a dictionary containing the return values. And when you look at the local client, that is bound to return return code standard out, standard error. Running a command. Okay. Uh, yeah, so whatever local client returns, perhaps uh, it would have helped to switch to this earlier. Uh, hmm. And I haven't recorded any of this. Right. Okay, so I need to fix.